Hello and welcome to Poly Talks. I'm your host, Jason Clark, and we're here with Karam Aftab. He's running for a City Toronto, Toronto Centre, Ward 13, Municipal Election. So, hi, Karam. Hello, Jason. Hi. We just have a few questions uh, about the upcoming election. No problem, I'm okay. here. So, how did you get into, you know, politics, into advocacy for, you know, your community? You know. So the Jason, so I start a little story. So I came in Canada 2005 with the MBA finance degree in my hand. When I came in Canada, I landed on the corner of Sherbun and Dundas. And I have the different image at back home about Canada. When I landed here, it was totally different. But you know, uh, soon I see like the people are, few people are addicted for the, for the, you know, the drugs. And a lot of people are homeless over there. And uh, the, the owners were changing so quick because they were getting the threats from the people who were asking them the money on whatever the, the ways they were asking. So uh, after one year, I got a chance to buy this place. This, the time I bought the place, I realized the people who are addicted, they don't spend money on the food. They are spending money on the, on the things which they smoke. And they are getting weak so quick, they are getting, you know, they are dying almost. So I started giving them the food. And 2006, I started the fried chicken. If you go in the store, so still it's a $3.50, including tax, big box, so people can eat. So that, I started it, and I feel very good. And when I feel very good, and it encouraged me to help them more and more. Then a lot of people don't have even that much money, but we never say no for the food. The other things, yes. A lot of problems there, but you know, I face from the front. I never run away. I stand for the people who are less fortune over there. This, that was, I but never thought like I will run for the city councilor, I will come in the politics. But you know, the thing started from there, I start helping the people. When I start helping the people, the people encouraged me a lot. When they encouraged me a lot, it's, you know, I keep on doing it. Then I open a multiple, uh, the stores in this area. Uh, Sherbun Dundas, I opened the restaurant uh, 2008. Then I opened another restaurant on the Kabul Express is on the Jarvis and uh, you can say Church and Dundas. So then I open a different stores. But meanwhile, I got a license in the real estate, so I start helping the people. I got a, a good money from the, from the Remax, from the real estate. So I start investing that money on the people. When that, but it gave me too much happiness. But it was not a politics that time. But eventually it turned to, to this side, like the people start encouraging me, like uh, you should take a further step since you are doing a lot for the community. So <clears throat> you should do something better. So for the better, uh, still I never thought it. But you know, they, they, they told me it was a big discussion and almost three, four months, it was a discussion with the people, consultation with the people. And you know, then I came to the point like, okay, I should do it. So that's why you became, you wanted to run for a city councillor? Uh, yes, on the people's choice, basically. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. So mm -hmm. what do you think the role is of a city councillor? And what do you think you would enjoy most about that role? The city councillor role is to uh, handle the day-to-day -day problems of the people on the street, street level, on the small thing. The bigger the things are handled from the federal and provincial, but city councillor is specifically which have a direct interaction with the people. So that part, you know, uh, the city councillor have uh, that role to meet with the people and that should be from the people who live there, who have spent the whole youth in this area, who knows the people and, you know, who can represent them very well. So this is the role basically of the city councillor. That's great. So what do you feel are going to be some of the most, uh, the biggest challenges you'll face in this job? The biggest challenges is uh, we are facing, you know, the big problem for the housing. I know it's a very big issue. Even the federal want to solve this problem overnight. Provincial want to solve this overnight. The mayor want to solve this overnight. 
and we, I also want to solve this problem overnight, but this will be the challenge, like the, the funding. The funding part, how much money we can invest, and it's a little slow process, but we will jump in, we will, we will see like how faster we can, and uh, we want to give the relief to, to our people as soon as possible. But that part, you know, I have in my mind, like it will take some time, and that, this will be the challenge. The other things, solving the gun violence and you know involving the people and uh, giving the importance to our old people you know so uh, that part we can do it mm, those are some of the challenges you think you'll face yeah, yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. so what are some of the, what are some of the successes give me three successes that you have <coughs> achieved in your career or in your advocacy for the community so the first thing you know uh, when i came i open up the store and i start helping the people and i open up different uh, kind of businesses run it successfully running one business successfully it's a big challenge especially in this kind of area but i have believed if you keep on working hard right it could change and you can change anything i understand the value of the dollar how uh, you invest and where you should spend the money <clears throat> and uh, where you can get the money back. So the proven track, I have made the thing successful. I can work 24 hours without any problems. This is the first one. Then I engage a lot of youth with me. If you come sometime to my store, <clears throat> you will see my behavior with the youth. The youth is respectful to me, I am respectful to them. So this is also one of the things. So we have uh, involved few people who are very playing very important roles. So I'm part of that. If you see on the Eid day, if you see different, so Sam's food store is always there. Even there was 650 Parliament seat, there was a fire. So I put the tent over there for three days, giving them the uh, food and uh, candies for the little kids and the drinks and juice so the people were homeless they don't know where to cook where to eat uh, not good to sleep so i have done th these things practically without talking you know the few people talk a lot but you know the practical thing is little you know the different then you know i have engaged uh, a different uh, kind of ethnicities together so before that they were here and there, so I brought them together and uh, I say like, let's get involved. Without involving, you cannot do the things, you know. So that is, you can say the three achievements. So I have lots, but yeah. you know. <laughs> great answer, great answer. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, Premier Ford <laughs> has made some decisions that impact this ward and the city as a whole. How do you think those decisions are going to impact your job as a city councillor? It's very hard to comment on somebody, but you know, I'm also in the favor, like there should be less politicians, right? But you know, less politicians only with the consultation of the people. With the consultation of people in the middle of election, in the middle of game, to change the rules of the game. This is a little disturbing, you know. So, okay. but you know, uh, he has the power and the people have given him the power. He is using it and we are obeying it. We are resisting it, but you know, we have to, we have to obey the rule. Okay. Right? So we will do it. So you think you'll be able to do that job? In Nabi? You know? Oh yes, you know, I will, we will see what happens. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. That's great. So what do you feel are some of the most important issues facing your constituents mm -hmm. and the city as a whole? That one is a housing one, I told you before. Okay. Uh, housing, even our area, where, you know, the population is very diverse and it's a uh, little lower than the average income. So these people are facing the bigger, biggest trouble is uh, the housing. Housing, the poor people make two, three thousand dollar working in, in the somewhere. They make three thousand dollars, suppose I give you the example, you know. Mm -hmm around 15 to 1800 dollars they pay the rent very small money left for their eating and they find another job evening job when they find an evening job nobody is there to take care of the kids kids are on the street very vulnerable easy target somebody buy them the food somebody buy them the candy they send that so they get engaged very quickly 
so the poverty and this you know the housing is the bigger problem then you know we have uh, you know we should think about that we should make these housing things and uh, uh, affordable accommodation little outside uh, of the Toronto Centre maybe in the Ajax maybe in the Pickering and if we make over there which will be very affordable number one number two it will be you know for the city it's a little cheaper for the city because they are not going to spend big money on the housing so they can afford there if they make the things over there then we need that transportation over there it should be proper transit should be proper then we have to build some transit things uh, Tory have a very you know uh, different model which was when it was presented it's very good but you know he couldn't work out a lot maybe he's short of funding whatever Jennifer Kismet she has her own plan we appreciate the good things the good plans but you know we need to implement it we need to concentrate to solve these problem housing and transit I think we can solve both things together that's great so how do you think the citizens or constituents in your ward can get involved and have their voices heard? Oh yes, so that, that is one of my achievements I told you before, like uh, especially the ethnic community. So they were not getting involved and they were not voting even, you know. And they were not voting because they were thinking uh, uh, we will not be here and you know even we vote or we don't vote, it will not make a difference. So. That's what I'm doing and I'm a little successful in this one. So I'm telling the, this diverse community, you have the vote and it have the equal vote. You are not a second class citizen, you are the equal citizen here. Everybody immigrated, few immigrated few uh, years before and few later, but you know, we have the equal right. So I involve them, I convey them. Like if your say should be listened and you know, whatever you will say, we can do it. In, uh, and I slowly worked on it. And engaging the youth, after engaging the youth, I engaged the parents. After uh, engaging the parents, the families came, then you know, we got a discussion. It, and while I was doing the consultation, so I was doing a big gathering, 200 people, 300 people were coming and uh, that, that how I involve the people basically. In That's great. Situation. That's great. So Karam, just wrapping up here, mm -hmm. is there anything else you'd like to share with your constituents? Oh, I will say like uh, I'm the person uh, who talk less but who work the practical things a lot more. And you know, uh, the votes are coming October 22nd. Advanced vote is you know, the uh, 10 to 14. There are lots of things to, to talk, but you know, the time is short. So I say, everybody, thank you very much for listening to me. If anybody have a more question, I have the website, I have the phone number. And uh, you know, my store is here on one on the Sherbun and Dundas, one on the Oak and River. And my office is also in the basement of uh, Sam Food Store, Oak and River, 175 River Street. Anybody have any problem, they can come over there. We can discuss things and, you know, we need the people who want to help us. They can come there. And thank you very much. Thank you very much, Kara. Okay. Thank you for watching Poly Talks. I'm your host, Jason Clark. And we've been, and we've been with Kuram Aftab, running for Toronto Centre, Ward 13. Thank you. This has been RPTV. Have a good night.